What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Ethan Reich 23 channel, where today uh, I'm just going to be discussing what happened at Red Bull at the Brazilian Grand Prix today. Uh, very, very interesting stuff that occurred at Red Bull. And I really want to get your opinion on this, so feel free to comment whatever you want to comment because this kind of boggled me and made me chuckle to see Red Bull and what seems to be a little bit of turmoil, something I didn't expect from a world driver champion and a constructor champion to be already. So I'll just break it down. So Checo Perez after the last uh, safety car restart, uh, or let's just preface this like this. So basically, uh, Checo Perez or Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc are very tightly competing for number two or runner up in the world drivers champion championship. Checo Perez and Leclerc, respect, respectively, both need as many points as possible to from these last couple of races to get the number two spot, as it'll probably benefit each team, Ferrari and Red Bull, quite a fortune, right? You know, second place in the uh, championship probably benefits the team somehow. So, Perez was third after the safety car restart, the, the last safety car restart, and was on the medium compound tires where everyone else around him were on softs. So, Perez dropped back from Leclerc, Sainz, and Alonso, which saw him drop down to P6 in the race. Mr. Max Verstappen was the car right behind him, where uh, they told Max to you could pass Perez and try to overtake Leclerc, who was P5, or or I think Alonso was P5 uh, and Leclerc was P6 at the time, something like that, where it was basically... Overtake of Leclerc, and hopefully Leclerc will drop into Checo's uh, clutches, and then Checo could overtake Leclerc and maximize points over Leclerc. That never happened, and Max was past Checo and was also told, okay, you can't do this, give the place back to Checo. Guess what? Max did not do this. Uh, you could hear that the last lap, uh, uh, Max's engineer saying, okay, Max, give the posi position back. Max full floored it onto the line, and they said, "Oh, Max, what happened?" And he responded something like, "I give you my reasons why I don't want, I didn't want to do this. Uh, I hope we're clear. I give you my reasons, and what I, I'm, I'm going by what I said." And I guess, and I know Horner and the rest of the Red Bull crew were absolutely flabbergasted by this, and Checo Perez as well in his post race comments said something like, "Oh, he showed his true colors." A Red Bull show who they clearly favor. I mean, after all I've done, look what happens to me. And it's true. Like, if it wasn't for Checo Perez last year, Max Verstappen would not be a one time. Uh, would not have won the uh, drivers' championship last year. We saw in Abu Dhabi the defense that allowed Hamilton to not pit at a certain point. Uh, we saw in Baku the defense, for example, uh, Turkey, just to name a couple of examples. And. For Max not to repay the favor in a task and job that's already done for Max. I mean, he already wrapped up the World Travis Championship. The constructors is already done. They both are going to his team. Why does he care about second in the... Like, why doesn't he care about his teammate for second place in the championship? I don't understand. Well, his reason is that Checo Perez clashed, crashed deliberately in Monaco. Um, and it was a... Dutch reporter who reported it, so of course he's going to have some bias to Max. And Monaco also happened months ago, like what, in July, June? I forgot when this happened, but early in the season. So for Max to hold this grudge for several months, if it, if it even is true, I, I bet you Checo Perez did not crash in Monaco deliberately. I don't think that's possible after how much he's helped Max already. But even, let's say let's assume the worst and say Checo did crash in Monaco deliberately. For Max to hold that grudge for several months, plus already being the World Drivers Championship, plus already delivering the Constructors Championship, to not help out your teammate for second place in the Constructors Champion and fa favor a rival of yours, the guy who was tipped to challenge you this season for the championship, is crazy. It just shows who runs Red Bull. It shows who they clearly favor over than over another. And yeah, maybe Daniel Ricciardo was right for leaving in uh, twenty what was it twenty seventeen. 
maybe he knew something we didn't. I mean, what we saw from Max today, or what I saw in particular, was completely and utterly selfish and childish. For Max to, you know, for Max to be told to give the position position back, even though he already wrapped up the World Drivers Champion and the Constructors, and to not give it back is crazy to me, especially with how much Treko has helped you win last year's World cha- uh, World Title. I, I I can't wrap my mind around it, um, and to say P, like it's so it's so confusing to me why this can't just be a good teammate. It's a uh, poor Perez man. I mean he deserved P six, he got it absolutely taken away from him. That was it maybe three points or two points. However the points separate, um, six and seventh can now come back to bite Checo in the ass because now. Leclerc and Leclerc and Checo are even going into Abu Dhabi, similar to Lewis and Max last year. But this is for second place in the championship, not first, second. And the teammate of the guy who did this today, I mean, Max's teammate is the one who he rejected and not gave, did not give the position back to. I, I can barely speak about this because I can't, I can't just wrap my mind around it. I don't know why you don't give the position back to your teammate. After you were told, if you can't overtake, give the position back. Maybe it's because Max had a relatively bad weekend and was like, fuck this, I'm taking the points. I don't know. I can't tell you what goes inside the the number one's helmet. But, hey, okay. you know, Red Bull's uh, clearly in some turmoil. The, I, I know many people probably lost respect to Max Verstappen. I know Checo Perez definitely lost respect, and they definitely lost chemistry, and this can maybe boil over into next season. And we can see a lot more toxic and toxicity in Red Bull, which will benefit me, Mercedes, and McLaren, and Ferrari. So I can't complain. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this incident. Do you think Checo was in the right to be disappointed and say what he said about Max? Do you think Max should have gave the uh, place back? And if you don't, tell me why. You don't think Max should have gave the place back. But I think everyone is in agreement that Max should have gave the place back. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care and peace, everybody.